So hi, I'm Greg from Eatree Woodfired. Right now we're referring to ourselves as Eatree Takeaway. Uh, and as we uh, had indicated before, we're gonna do a series of, uh, for lack of a better word, uh, a cooking show. Uh, maybe we're gonna call it um, Eatree Takeaway at Home. Uh, I'm gonna be focused primarily on this pizza side of things or the dough side of things. You'll see some other people that are gonna be cooking some very special dishes that'll come home with you. Uh, and we will see those soon. But right now, what I would like to talk to you about in our first episode is something very simple when we're talking about making dough. Some of you I know right now are bored to tears at home and trying to think about things that you can do that are creative. And uh, some of you love to cook. So I know some of you would like to make your own dough. So let's just call me your dough consultant at this point in time. So I'm gonna give you one simple pointer to start this off. And that is that you should absolutely use baker's percentages. Now, a lot of people don't know what that is. If you look at a, uh, a book that someone has written, uh, oftentimes they will try to make it simple for you and give you the exact measurements of how much flour you should use and how much that will yield in the way of dough balls. Uh, and that's not necessarily the worst way to go about things, but if you wanna get good at this and continue to make your own dough, you should absolutely use Baker's percentages. Now, what are they? It is all based on the metric system. Uh, the metric system is a much easier way to weigh uh, out your ingredients when you are making dough. So here's the very simple idea behind it. Your flour in making dough is always going to be 100%. Your other ingredients will be a percentage of that. So let me give you a very basic pizza formula. Flour being, let's say, 1,000 grams. That means 1,000 grams is your 100% that is your flour. So you would put 1,000 grams of flour, you would weigh that out in a bowl. Following that, another basic idea is that your water would be, let's say, 58% of that. So then your water would be 580 grams, 58% of the 1,000 grams. Then your yeast, depending on what kind of yeast you use, very common is 1% yeast. So you would then do 10 grams of yeast. And then let's say another common ingredient is salt. 2% salt, that would make it 20 grams of salt. This becomes a lot easier because sometimes you don't have the exact measurements that you want in the amount of flour, let's say. Let's say you uh, run out of some flour and you end up only having 1,800 grams. That's okay because your recipe, if based on percentages, will be very easy to calculate. It's also much more precise. And in making pizza dough, you really can't guess on your measurements. The last thing I will say is, a lot of people like to use these measuring cups for water, which is not a bad idea, but these are not precise. You should weigh all of your ingredients. So, in short, I would just like to promote, if you're gonna be doing this at home and making dough balls that look as beautiful as these ones right here, you want to use Baker's percentages, where the flour is the 100%, and then you base all of your other ingredients off of that. You might see olive oil, you might see um, malt, you might see salt, you might see water listed as percentages, and then you will know what that means. That's it for today for each Eatery Takeaway at Home. Stay tuned and we'll start to actually make some dough. And also stay tuned for Dana and Joe who are gonna make some great dishes that you can take home with you.